this means. What? This is the summer of love. It is! Oh my gosh! Wow. How our, sweet. Our Caitlin live <laughs> camera shows we've got some cloud cover hanging in this morning, and there are a couple of showers out there this morning. Once the max track uh, data pops up here, you'll be able to see uh, some of those showers that are across our southeastern counties. Boy, it's thinking about it, and it's not really wanting to uh, cooperate this morning. So looks like we've had some data dropping out. There it is, finally showed up. Uh, you've got a few showers out around Stanton. You've got some additional development into eastern counties, and these have been hanging with us uh, on and off through the morning. A uh, little slighter, heavier pop of rain between Jamestown and Columbia as you get down there on the uh, Russell and Adair uh, County line. Uh, so there is some activity this morning, but it's fairly limited. We'll have these showers moving east and it could persist even into a lot of parts of the morning, starting to show some upticks in coverage there. So yeah, this is that unsettled weather that I was talking about, although you know, the coverage isn't amounting to much, especially compared to this. Elsa hammering South Carolina right there is Columbia in uh, the Midlands. Uh, there is North Carolina. You're seeing those individual blinking polygons. Those are tornado warnings out, and they've had those all night. You can watch them just gradually working their way up from Charleston through Myrtle Beach. Those coastal tornado warnings uh, from some of those storms exhibiting some rotation on the northeastern side of that swirl of low pressure. That is still a tropical storm down to 40 mile per hour sustained winds. The center of it is about 90 miles west northwest of Charleston, so a lot of the active weather displaced to the east northeast. Uh, and there's the potential for it to wander out to sea a little bit. Uh, that could potentially give it its best chance at uh, strengthening a little bit. But uh, the official track and a lot of the model guidance, uh, the official track from the National Hurricane Center is keeping it just inland and running it up through uh, Richmond, Virginia, uh, hitting all the heavies there up through uh, New York, east of New York and hitting Boston, and then eventually up into uh, the North Atlantic. But it has put down torrential rainfall, a half a foot or more, and that's from uh, coastal Carolina is going down into Georgia and northern Florida. We've got rain on the way, but it's not going to amount to a lot right off the bat. We don't really need it here in Lexington. We're running anywhere from 200 to 250 percent of uh, what we typically see over a 30 day span, uh, but well below normal southwestern counties. So we do have some crispy spots out there heading back towards Bowling Green that could use some rain. What we're going to see is Elsa continues its east coast trip. Some scattered showers, few thunder showers. We're kind of gap between what's going on in the eastern Kentucky and what's coming in from the northwest. But by later on this evening, especially, we'll see some scattered showers and storms developing. So if you have outdoor plans this evening, watch out. That front hangs up, never really leaves. Friday could be fairly quiet, but then we have a more substantial wave, a complex of storms diving south, weakening, but could still throw some wind and heavier rain our way overnight into Saturday morning. And then we should see additional repeated waves of that coming our way as we go through the weekend. It's 71. The air is still muggy. We're in the upper 60s to low 70s for the dew point. The temperatures do come down a little bit this weekend due to that increase in cloud cover and that increasing chance for showers and storms. So your forecast in the mid 80s today, 84 in Lexington, showing 86 out towards Taylorsville, Richmond, low to mid 80s, Winchester, much the same. Eastern Kentucky, our southeastern counties, we're running around the low to mid 80s today. Uh, a little bit warmer as you get all the way down towards uh, Manchester compared to some of those low 80s we saw in the eastern Kentucky. Speaking of low 80s, we'll see those this weekend, uh, those showers and storms much more numerous starting Friday night and continuing on and off through the weekend.